right, folks, John Rush here, Richard Rush, my son behind the camera. We're going to do the long review. This is the long version. There'll be a short version in the sidebar also. Long review of the 2015 Audi All Road. This is basically an A4 wagon. I don't really know how else to say it, but it, it, is, a, it is based on the A4. It's a wagon. This does sit up. Gives you seven inches of ground clearance. It does sit up a little higher. It's got stainless steel skid plates underneath. It's not an off-road vehicle, but it does give you the ability to get off on some of those you know, roads maybe where you want to go fishing or camping or do some things along those lines. It does give you the ability to actually do that. But let's take a quick walk around. Again, 2015 Audi All-Road. Kind of give you the front end. It's got a traditional look really from, you know, from here forward. You know, you wouldn't know this wasn't an A4 uh, until you get into the back end of it, into the kind of the wagon, the wagon look of it. And uh, we apologize for some of the dirtiness of these cars. We just got out of a bunch of, we really, a full week's worth of rain. Finally getting the ability to actually give this car a nice review today. But as you look around the car, it's got a nice stance. And I actually like the looks of this car. Some people, you know, don't like it because it's more of a wagon look. Actually, this car is very versatile. It runs well. It works well. Uh, I've averaged around the 26 to 28 mile to the gallon mark, depending upon how I'm driving, where I'm driving. And, you know, the car actually works really well. It's all Audi, but as somebody, had, you know, some of the people that have looked at it have said, it's a $48,000 station wagon. Sorry, but... It really kind of is. So we'll go through a test drive here in just a minute of the car. We'll come back. We'll do the interior. I'll show you some of the cargo space. It does have a really not an exorbitant amount of cargo space, but it does have a large amount of cargo space. They've done a good job of that. So we'll continue on with the driving portion of the 2015 Audi All Road. All right, folks, we're going to take a drive in the 2015 Audi All Road. Open the sunroof up for you where you can actually see. Richard can show, kind of show you the panoramic, panoramic roof. As we get back into the interior portion, I'll show you how that open and closes a little bit later. But as we back up, put the car in reverse, <clears throat> the backup camera will come on. And this one does show you exactly where you're actually going to go when you're in reverse. So you can kind of get an idea there as to where that turns and kind of, you know, if you're, if you're a parallel parking challenge, these backup cameras uh, do help in, in regards to that. And it does have parking sensors and all of that sort of thing. But let's take a quick drive. Car is very quiet. It works well. It runs well. It's smooth. I love the transmission in these cars. That's one of the things about these Audi, Audis, the, the Tiptronic transmission. I really enjoy the way it works and shifts. It works fantastic. Um, fuel economy, again, as I said earlier, um, I, we're getting around the, the mid to, you know, approaching the upper 20s. I wish we'd be a little bit higher than that, but, you know, 26 is pretty easy to get in this car. And if you compare it to some other SUVs, that's really not all that bad considering you're a you know, you're a two liter turbocharged engine. The car actually works, runs, performs extremely well. You pull out in traffic, you know, it's a little rocket. The car really works fantastically well. As far as the Quattro all wheel drive, uh, that's, you know, of course, Audi's, uh, Audi's known by that. It works extremely well. We just had some snow here in Colorado and this car performs extremely well in rain, snow, really doesn't make any difference. The car works tremendously well in really any condition. That's where the name All Road comes from. You can drive this car on all roads. It's not meant for four-wheel drive, hardcore four-wheeling by any means. Audi doesn't tout it as that. But if you want to get off-road, get on some gravel roads, some dirt, a little bit of mild off-roading. It's got seven inches of additional, or seven inches of ground clearance, I should say, underneath. Stainless steel skid plates underneath, which I talked about in the opening. But again, let's come back. We'll go through the interior of the 2015 Audi All-Road. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed the driving portion of the 2015 Audi All-Road. And as my son Richard always says, please get out, test drive these cars yourself. You know, make sure that you really, you know, the car fits you, fits your family. Somebody actually commented the other day and said, that's the dumbest thing you could ever do is actually go to the dealership with your family and figure out if a car fits you. I don't know any other way you're going to figure out if a car fits you. I guess if you could go out and rent one of these cars, but that's going to be hard to find one of these type of cars in a rental fleet. So best thing to still do, get out. Stand your ground when you go to the dealership. Tell them you want a test drive. If they're not willing to, to give you a test drive, then go to a dealer that'll, that'll work with you. So not every dealer out there are, are crooks like a lot of you on the internet think. That Yeah, there's a lot of good and bad of everything, whether it be car dealers, repair shops, what have you. You just need to find somebody that'll work with you. And on Audi, I don't think that's going to be a big problem. Just go out and test drive these cars and see if they really fit you. Opening up the rear hatch, hold the button down, the key fob opens right up. It's all automatic. It'll close the exact same way. Good amount of cargo space back here in the back. In fact, I've got figures on this right now. Let me look at my cheat sheet and I'll tell you exactly what the cubic feet is of, is of this particular car. 27.6 with the seats up and 50.5 with the seats down. So it does give you a, a really a large amount of cargo capacity. Okay, one more thing that uh, the, the privacy screen has. It's kind of a nice feature. Is It will slide up on these tracks. If I can do this right, you just hold it up. Slides right up. Pull it back down. And again, I can do that again just by, by holding it up. 
and it slides back up. And again, it just give, it gives you some more room in here without having to take that all the way down. It, it's just another feature that it's got. And again, nice storage capacity in the back of the all row. Let's come around to the back seat. Let me close this real quick. And I'll show you what kind of room is in the back seat. Now, again, this seat right here is back all the way. And you're going to notice right off the bat, there's not a lot of room here. Again, this is more like an A4, not a big car by any means. But as I climb in, you know what? I still have a good, the way they've indented the seat here. I, I've got a good, you know, four, four and a half inches here pretty easily. Good headroom, even with the sunroof in it, which has to slide back, which has got a really nice long roof, which we'll talk about when I get into the front seat. And we mentioned it actually in the driving portion also. But... It's got a, it's, it still has really decent headroom, even given the fact that the, that the back end of this is actually lower. Grab handles here, coat hook. It does have vents. If Richard can show you this, there are vents here. It's not, it's not um, how do I want to say, you actually have controls here as far as the heating and cooling. So it is, it is sort of a tri-mode uh, climate system, if you would, because you do have the ventilation back here to make that work. And there's a little storage, or, or sorry, not a storage, but a little... Uh, Accessory port here for your charging for the back seat passengers and mat pockets. Looking at the side panel over here, not a lot of, of fanciness here. It's got a little bit of a leather trim here, soft touch here. This is all plastic all around. Again, not a big deal, but you're you're approaching 50 grand on this. I would think, you know, no offense, Audi, but I think you should have a little more soft touch material in here when you start approaching that type of a price. Getting out. It is a little bit of cumbersome, especially with me and boots, but you know, not a big deal if you're a lady. It's still pretty easy to get in and out. All right, fans, and we're actually shooting through the roof because as I said earlier, it's got a really nice big sunroof that I wanted to show you. It actually, the, the roof itself comes about halfway back. The sunshade goes back even further, so it gives you a really nice open air feeling when you're sitting in here with the sunroof open. But Richard, switch the camera around. If you can kind of get a little bit of this front view here. We did some of this in the driving portion, but it's a little easier now as we're stopped to kind of show you what's going on. Nice steering wheel controls. They've done a nice job laying out the steering wheel. You know, good instrumentation, which Audi's, you know, they have, they have a great cockpit. I don't know how else to say it. They really do. Wipers on the right, turn signals, cruise control on the left, all of your other buttons to control, mirrors, windows, all of that stuff, even the rear hatch, all of that's over here on the left-hand side. In the middle, you control all of your nav, radio, etc. All of that is done right here in the middle. And as we mentioned before, the one thing you have to get used to with Audi is when you're scrolling through the radio, it's kind of opposite of where you think it needs to go. Once you get used to that, it's really not a big deal. And of course, this has the, the Tiptronic transmission in it, which works really, really well. So dual climate control here, plus the third in the back. Not a big, big console. So there's not a lot of storage area in here, as you can see. This is really, really shallow. If you're looking for a place in the middle to actually store stuff, it's not here because you're just not going to get it. In fact, cup holders, you've got one normal size cup holder and it's not overly large. A very, very small cup holder, which I'm not sure what you'd even fit back here. This is really, really small. The one good feature it has, as you can see, any size cell phone just kind of lays in here and it works really well. And everything, of course, works Bluetooth back into the system itself. Google Maps, which of course is the nav system, the radio, being able to play your, your music through it, all of that. So that's the, that's the major part of the cockpit. I will say one thing that Audi is very well known for, nice, thick leather seats. They have, they've done a really, really nice job. This is, you know, you, you really feel like, I don't know where they find the cows to build this app, but man, it's really nice, thick leather. Again, the only complaint I've got with any of the lower end Audis is they still feel to me a little plasticky when you get through the dash area. I showed you that on the door panel a minute ago. That's about my only knock. Other than that, it's very nice, very quiet. The car works really well. I'll come back right now real quick and I'll give you my opinion of the 2015 Audi All-Road Quattro. All right, folks, my opinion of the 2015 Audi All-Road, which really is an A4 wagon. Nice car, works well, it's quiet, it's got great power coming out of the two liter turbocharged engine. I was hoping fuel economy would be a little better. I, I had to really, really be careful to get up into the high 20s. Typically, I was in the mid to you know, 26, 27 miles a gallon. If I was really, really lucky, I was hoping to get 30 or above. Just not going to happen with this car. Ground clearance is a little bit better. It is a pretty versatile car. That part of it I do like. So, you know, as far as the knocks go, price, $48,000 for a A4 wagon. Not saying that's, that's high priced, but... You need to be the judge of that. I think it's a little high for my blood. We just looked out at cars for my wife here just recently. This car kind of came into the mix. And uh, quite frankly, you know, basically our decision was based upon that. It's just a little too high price for what you actually get out of the car. And that was just our opinion. But you need to go out, look at the car. Uh, I'm going to sure get crucified for saying that. But you go out, check it out, see what you think. And you be the judge 
Uh, but is it a good car? Yeah, it's a great car. It's, it's an Audi. I, I can't say any more about it. Audi builds a great car right now. They're doing fantastic. But with that, go out to your Audi dealer. Check out all of the Audi products, if you would, whether it's the A4, the A6, the A3, this all-road, whatever you want to drive, go out tell them John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you. All right, folks. Hope you, hope you enjoyed this last review that we've just done. And as always, we say this, but we really do mean it. Get out, drive the car, put yourself, your family, your pet, whatever you're going to do with the vehicle, please get out, get in it, drive it. Make sure when you go and do that, you tell them John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you. For all of our other reviews, content, things that we have, you can check that out at our website, drive-radio.com. Please go and like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash drive radio. And of course, you found this on YouTube because that's where we put all these videos up. Our channel, Drive Radio, all one word. Go check out all the rest of our reviews. Like it, comment, do whatever you need to. We want to be here to help you pick out the right vehicle for you because as we always say, there's really not too many bad vehicles made today. There's just bad vehicle choices. So with that, I hope you have a great evening, great day, whatever it is. Just enjoy. And again, thanks so much for watching.